problem 1218 is predict the product. In chapter 12, we learned about how to make alcohols from carbonyl compounds. So we've learned about oxidation and reduction. So this particular problem, we're going to look at A, B, and C. These are different reagents to carry out oxidation reactions. In the first problem, using our strategy, we're going to characterize or classify what the starting material is. So the major functionality is an alcohol. So we're starting with a primary alcohol. The conditions that we're treating this with are potassium permanganate in the presence of a base hydroxide anion and then the workup is going to be an acidic workup with hydronium ion. So what you need to recognize is that with potassium permanganate and a primary alcohol this is going to oxidize all the way up to the carboxylic acid oxidation state. So the carbon bearing the primary alcohol is now going to be at the acid oxidation state. Part B is asking us to treat a secondary alcohol in the presence of PCC and dichloromethane. So you'll need to recognize that PCC is pyridinium chlorochromate. CH2Cl2 is the solvent that the reaction is run in. This is a non-participating chemical in this reaction. Under these conditions, PCC will oxidize the secondary alcohol to the ketone. Finally, in part C, we're starting with a primary alcohol. Under these conditions, dimethyl sulfoxide and COCl, parentheses 2, this is oxalochloride. And then the workup is with triethylamine. So what you'll have to recognize or remember is that these are the conditions for a Sworn oxidation. So Professor Swern was the chemist that discovered these particular conditions to oxidize an alcohol. So under these conditions, the primary alcohol is oxidized to an aldehyde. So if you compare that with part A, potassium permanganate under basic conditions and acidic workup takes the primary alcohol all the way to the acid. These different conditions developed by Swern take a primary alcohol all the way to the aldehyde. 